we're going to show you how to do a titration. So what is a titration? A titration is when you have some known acid or base and you have some unknown base or acid respectively. In this case, we don't know our acid concentration, so we are determining that. And we filled our burette with a known base concentration, okay? Um, the point of this is a neutralization reaction. So that means that after we've delivered all the volume and calculated the corresponding numbers, what we should have at the end point is moles of acid equaling moles of base. However, as you can see, all the solutions are clear. So how is it that we can figure out to reach end point? Well, we need to add an indicator. So once you've added your indicator, you're going to put the Erlenmeyer flask on the stir plate. You're going to make sure that the setting is on stir. And what we're going to do right now is a scout titration. And what that means is that right now our volume is approximately 8 mils. And we're just going to figure out approximately how many mils it will take for us to reach the end point. And again, the end point is when the indicator should change color. All right. The point of this titration is not to be, to be precise. We're just trying to figure out the approximate volume. So this is going to go by kind of quick. Uh, so right now, the initial volume looks to be about 8 milliliters. Again, I'm just using approximate numbers because this is the point of the scout titration. We're just trying to figure out how much volume we're approximately using. And as you can see, the solution has turned a pretty dark pink. So we definitely overshot it, but that's okay. This is our scout titration. If, I'm were, if I were to read this right now, this is about 35.18. That's about 35, or it's around 35, basically. So it's around 35 milliliters, you know, we're being approximate. So 35 minus 8, that was around 27 mils, basically.